hear a lot of things about Bob tonight. He never puts himself first. A searcher for truth for sure. He's um, thoughtful, generous, uh, can never do enough, sky's the limit for his family and for others. I think that's why he's receiving the very Toss Award. Even if he needs it and you need it, you'll get it. He dedicates his time for other people, whether it's his children, his wife, uh, immediate or extended family, or a stranger off the street that needs help. You know, he's just a, uh, he's a good person. Uh, he's always doing the right thing, always willing to help people. He's done pro bono stuff for people uh, as a lawyer, um, and he's done pro bono stuff for people as a person. He's really one of the good guys. He does not know the difference between texting and emailing. Calling emails, texts, and vice versa, so you don't know what he sent you, whether it was an email or a text. And when he confuses people with that, he will just say, what difference? Certain times he's into technology, but at certain times he is just uh, completely refuses to kind of move on with the times. Uh, he still mails in checks to pay his bills instead of doing it online. Um, he gets into fights with Apple TVs that are talking to him. To have an iPhone, despite popular belief, that is true. So we call him an early adapter. Like calling jeans dungarees that, that nobody's done since 1950-something. It might be time to take those running sneakers that you have had for 35 years and maybe be treated to new ones. And exercising with jeans on, which we always ask him, isn't that uncomfortable? Nope, what's the difference? Having his own business, running his own business, working seven days a week for all those uh, years, but always, always, always just made time for my brother, my sister and I, coached every sporting that we wanted to get into. He was always there coaching. Uh, for a trial attorney, he never missed a thing. Plays, sports, coached everybody's teams. You know, whether he was coaching or rooting for me, uh, you know, he was always trying to teach. He's just, uh, he's just always there. You know, he always loved teaching and, you know, even he would teach physics through playing with Legos with me when I was five. He bought the Mineola Flames, uh, our warm-up jackets. Um. <laughs> I think I was playing in a, a playoff baseball game and he had to leave early and I think I did something, you know, good in the later portion of the game that he missed and I was kind of bent out of shape about it. You know, the way he kind of paid it back to me is we woke up early, you know, the next morning, I'll never forget, he brought me to the small soccer field at Wilson Field and he taught me how to do a banana kick in soccer. And we just stayed there for about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, and you know, he, he, he rekindled the bond that was temporarily lost. No matter what we were doing, whether it was school, sports, whatever the case may be, is uh, you know, just ask us if you tried our best. Um, and if we said yes, he said, that's all you can do. People like Bob keep us going, but we know we couldn't do all of this without Bob. I was sent to the school to probably close it because of low registration. And then I met Bob, and that ended the closing of the school. It lasted for about another 20 years. The families that he got involved to make it all happen. Bob, I wanna thank you for your dedication for your love of God, for your beautiful family that have grown with you, and now your great extended family. So Bob, always in my heart, in my blessings to God for you. So grateful that you never ever hesitate to put others first, and you've put us first a lot, and we are so appreciative. Thank you so much for your over 30 years of service to our congregation. And especially, we're thankful that one of our former students has done so well in life. Thank you, Dad, for everything you've done throughout the years. I certainly would not be who I am without you. Um, congratulations, well deserved. Uh, and we're excited to celebrate with you. Uh, Dad, listen, I'm uh, proud of you for getting this as always. Uh, you're always doing the right thing. As I said earlier, um, couldn't have asked for a better father, better role model, uh, somebody to, to truly look up to and uh, just hope I can make you as proud as you've made me. I love you. 
Uh, thanks for all you've done for me. Thanks for setting, uh, you know, a great example of, of how to be, you know, a man and, you know, as I was growing up, a young man uh, and teaching me to always do the right thing even when uh, nobody's watching. Uh, I wish you all the best going forward and uh, congratulations, well deserved. Sure, Bob, I love you to death. That's all there is to it. And <laughs> we, uh, it's been 43 years, 44 years, and a lot of good ones. Thanks for all the good years. When I think of Lenore, I think that it's so appropriate that we are honoring her with the St. Catherine of Siena Award because like Catherine, she's a spirited searcher for truth, not afraid to speak her truth. But I think even more so, what I find really terrific is she wants to hear other people's truths. Caring, loving, thoughtful, competent, she doesn't talk about doing things, she's a doer, she acts. She's inspiring on a personal level, a professional level. She is genuine, very genuine. The opening word is for women who are from other countries who have little or no knowledge of our language. Sister Leonor Toscano, I want to thank you for all your service. I remember when you were teaching me and the other people to learn English. Every morning I enjoy learning from you. That helped me a lot, a lot do communication with the other people. Her leadership, her passion, for helping and assisting these women is the number of students that we've been that has been coming to our sites. Lenore has been able to uh, to deal with that number and to deal with the not only the students but the teachers and the volunteers. What made her commitment special was she didn't just remain in the office. She went out to the various class classes and met the women and spoke with them and found out what some of their problems were and then brought it back to the office and, and we discussed how maybe that was a need that we needed to fulfill. And that opened, like I say, a new world for me. It, it was, um, you know, her gentle, she always been with me and she still talked to me. Um, her friendship is, is, is everything, it's is gold. Um, with my family too, she always concerned about everybody. She is, uh, she always been very, very good to, to everybody that's in the program, not just to me. Day by day, she says something, Maria, you have learning English. You have to think in English. You have to everything in English. We were both uh, school supervisors. We each had our own region. She conscientiously and graciously followed through with the, te with the principals, the pastors, the teachers for the education of the children. I had to describe Sister. She was a silent presence that moved about. You knew she was there, but it was always with a calm and affirming nature. With her, you can learn how to be a very strong person and make change and affect change in people. And you can be really nice and you can be very respectful in the process. She practices what she preaches and she is not afraid to come into classrooms and meet students and work with staff. She's not up here as an administrator when she was an administrator. Well, her faculty loved her, and my being a part of that faculty was such a privilege and an honor at that time. She said it in her soft-spoken way. You knew what idea was floating around in her head, and you were more than happy to make it happen for her because of who, who she is. Lenore does personify what a Dominican sister is. 
You are a Dominican sister who walks the walk. Lenora loves people. You preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. That has been your mission. That education, adult literacy has been your, your passion along with all the other things that you have embodied to make this world a better place. A passionate woman, a passionate uh, follower of Dominican life. Level that I know that your wings are going to be this big. And so done in such a humble way, I thank you for your grace. And I thank you for all that you've done, not only for your community, but on a personal note for me and for my family. Laura, I want to, th Lenora, I want to thank you for your friendship. You've been with me in times when you had to listen. You were there when I cried, and you're a true friend. Very simply stated, she's who I look forward to. And we need more people like her in this world, and it will be more beautiful because she has so much light and so much love and patience, and that is important. And Lenore, you have a gift for people to see the best in them for the good of others.